With the Rose Bowl just days away, the Ducks are gearing up for the Wisconsin Badgers on the practice field, but players and coaches took to partake in bowl game festivities prior to kickoff. Our KEZ99 sports reporter Robbie Fueling visited the outskirts of Beverly Hills to attend one of college football's most iconic and delicious traditions. So when you think about the Rose Bowl and all the activities the players participated leading up to the game, this is the granddaddy of them all right here at Lowry's Prime Rib in Beverly Hills, California. Let's take a look inside to see the Ducks enjoying some prime rib, mashed potatoes, and cream corn. Before kickoff of one of the most anticipated football games of the year, there's beef. Every year since 1956, Lowry's Prime Rib hosts each Rose Bowl team for an elite dinner called the Beef Bowl. Now, in football, most of the work is done on the practice field. And for this annual event, it's no different. In order to feed an entire Oregon football program, the work is done behind the scenes. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen. I'm here with Damon Gorin, the culinary director of Lowry's Prime Rib. Damon, tell me about the preparation it takes to feed an entire football team tonight? Well, firstly, we take into account how many we're going to serve. And obviously, being uh, strong athletes, they have a healthy appetite. So, uh, and then that will equate to how much beef we will cook, how many potatoes, and how much corn we'll prepare. Lowry served over 700 pounds of prime rib to be devoured, serving its most popular slice, the Lowry's cut. Once it gets on the plate with the au jus, the mash, and the corn, um, that 10 ounces is just big enough uh, where well, you don't necessarily need to have seconds. Regardless of how many servings these players wolf down, the bonding experience they share at the dinner table is priceless. And the guys I'm sitting with, Calvin Throckmore and Jake Hansen, Justin Herbert, guys that I've been here since uh, been here with since I've gotten here, and uh, just you know, relishing every single moment I get with these guys because there's never going to be a relationship like this again outside of this you know university. So uh, just relishing every moment, man, and stuff like this. Remember for the rest of your life. Shane Lemieux had the honor of cutting the first slab of prime rib and he dedicated the plate to the man who's helped mold the Ducks into the championship caliber program it is today. You know, Coach Chris Wall is my guy, man. I love that guy to death. And uh, it, was all, it was right to give to him because he's, he's done so much for this program and he's like a father figure to me, so I couldn't choose anybody else. With stomachs full and plates polished, now all that's left to do is play the game. If you told the 4-8 and eight Oregon Ducks you're going to play in the Rose Bowl, you would say you're crazy. And uh, now looking back at it, it is crazy. It's still crazy to think about, you know. So, uh, And I think it's really just due to the part of, you know, our focus of 1-0 every single week and uh, really focus on the opponent we have. So, you know, it's last, you know, we were playing Utah in the Pac-12. We were never thinking about the Rose Bowl. We never thought about anything ahead. Uh, and now literally all I have left is Wisconsin. So it's easier to have the 1-0 process. Reporting in Beverly Hills, California, Robbie Fueling, KZI 9 Sports. Prime rib. Name a better pregame meal? I'll wait. Thank you so much, Robbie. Kickoff for the 106th Rose Bowl is set for 2 p.m. on New Year's Day, and we will have live in-depth coverage from Los Angeles starting tonight on KEZI 9 News at 5.